I was in so much pain. it's your girl sammy barbie and i'm back here with another freaking video i am so sorry i know you guys are probably mad at me i know you guys are i was supposed to finish vlogmas and i had so many things i wanted to do like record what was in my hospital bag what was in her bag and blah 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 but i i'm so sorry pregnancy is if you understand pregnancy can be very hard but as you can tell i had my baby Woo! yes i had her so yeah this is gonna be my labor and delivery experience because i didn't get to record the whole time because i was in so much pain so much pain so we're gonna get into that but um yeah i have a couple videos that i'm gonna enter in the end with my baby when she first came out my mom recorded some but yeah without further ado Thank you if you're returning. If you're new, hi, subscribe, turn on my notifications, and let's get all this chit chat out. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with Monday. Cause that's actually when I had her. Well, Sunday. We're going to start st Sunday night, January 3rd. Um, So I started cleaning my room. I don't know why. Something in me just was like, get everything together, clean everything up, do everything. So I was doing laundry. I was doing all of this stuff, y'all. Like I was doing so much, but it was like her due date was January 5th. So like, I'm, I'm thinking like, she's going to come late. Like I don't have to worry about nothing. So then I, so then I got really tired and I was like, all right, I need to sit down. So I laid down, I laid down. I started getting some, um, I started getting some, um, pain. And it was just like, I had Braxton Hicks. Braxton Hicks really just, my stomach would get really tight and it would really hurt my ribs and I can't feel like I can't breathe, but it wasn't a sharp pain. I started feeling these sharp pains, like it was really bad. So I tried to breathe. I was telling my mom, I was like, mom, like I cannot take this. Like this, is, this really hurts. So then this was like 1 a.m. It started at 1 a.m. Called the doctor. They were like, um... I'm sorry, my dog is looking for the baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? So, it started at 1. I called the doctor. I'm sorry, that's where I was at. I called the doctor, and she was saying, like, because my contractions were, like, I think 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes apart. So, she was like, you can only come in if they're, like, 5 minutes apart, so let's just wait. So, I'm waiting, and then it went down to 7 minutes apart. My contractions were 7 minutes apart for about one to three or four it was just like it was all over the place like it goes seven minutes five minutes two minutes three minutes it was so bad so what i tried to do was i tried to take a bath i thought a bath was gonna help a bath did not help i drank water that did not help like it was really bad like guys i was really struggling like I was in here screaming, cursing everybody out. I wasn't cursing at my mom, but I was just like, y'all hate me. Y'all really hate me. Like, I was in so much pain. I did not know what to do. I was trying to text people, ask them what was going on, like, what to do. Like, I was telling my daughter's dad, like, I need to go to the hospital. He's like, well, I can't take you. And I was like, I know. My mom would not take me because she's just like, because we have been to the hospital so many times and they have sent me home. So I understand where she came from. But... It, it then about like five in the morning after dealing with that pain for four hours, I could not take it anymore. Like the pain was so bad, I was throwing up. Like that's how bad the pain was. Like I was feeling such bad pain that I was literally throwing up. So once I couldn't take it, like I told my mom, I woke my mom up. Well, my mom didn't even sleep that night because I was screaming, but I was like, mom, I can't do this. So I called the doctor and I'm trying to talk to the doctor, but I couldn't because I was in so much pain. I couldn't talk. I'm like, mom, please come. I'm trying to tell her, come get the phone. Like, please, please, please. So she's telling her and I'm like, my, my contractions are, my mom kept telling her like, they're 10 minutes apart. No, I have a, I had an app and I was actually tracking them and they were more than five. They were like, they were five minutes apart and they were more than a minute. Like, 
it was, and they, some of them was coming back to back. Like, I'll have one stop, come back. Like, and it was like a wave motion of the pain. Like, it's like period cramps, but 10 times worse, like on steroids. Like, it it was just horrible. So then I put on some pajamas, y'all. Like, I was like in so much pain. I peed on myself. Like, I know it's embarrassing, but I don't care. I peed on myself. Like, I was just like, I'm ready to go to the hospital. I, my mom was taking her time. I was so mad. Then in the car, then once we got everything, my mom got everything in there. We got in the car. Like, the ride there was like, I felt like it was so long. But luckily, it was like five and four or five in the morning. It was five in the morning, going on six. So it was no traffic, but still, like, I was in so much pain. Like, I was just struggling. Then it was time to get out. When we got to the hospital, I couldn't even walk. They put me in a wheelchair. I felt like they were taking forever. Like, I was just hunched over. And then I was tired at that because I did not sleep. So, uh, they, get, they like, oh, yeah, the baby's coming today. We're going to have a baby. And I'm just like, can y'all stop talking? Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I'm in so much pain. Can somebody help me? But, um... But yeah, so then I went upstairs to the labor delivery room. They put me in a room, you know, had to get undressed. I was like, so like they had to check me first before, you know, admitting me. Like to make see how dilated I am. So they put the monitor on my stomach, you know, to track her heartbeat and my contractions. And they were seeing like, they was like, oh, that was a strong contraction. Yeah, it was very strong. Like I was in so much pain. I was like, please help me, help me. So then. I think it was like, they were like, well, do you want the epidural? Yes, I do want the epidural. Everybody got telling me do natural? No. The contractions were horrible. Horrible. So, yes, I did get epidural. But it took them, him some time. So, when I got there at 5, I don't think I got the, I think I got the epidural at 9 in the morning. Around that time. So, when they checked me, I was just hoping, like, please, 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 please be dilated. Please, something like then they said I was five centimeters, so they started do, hooking up the IVs and stuff. You know, like oh yeah, we gotta get going. Then it was time to check my cervix. You know, well yeah, they checked my cervix and it was I was five centimeters. So they're like, okay, we're gonna get him. So he came at five o'clock. Um, the epidural to me, I mean, some people say it hurt when they got it. It didn't hurt me because I was already in so much pain and I wanted it so bad. I did not see the needle. I did not see what was going on because it was behind me the whole time. I just closed my eyes and I just took it. And it didn't really hurt. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it did not hurt me. I felt it. It felt weird. But it did not hurt. Like, I, I'm sorry. I, I was fine with it because I wanted that pain. So then once the epidural, they got the epidural in and I had to sit there. I think I felt one last bad contraction. Then after that, it was nothing. Like... That epidural is, I'm telling y'all, like, I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all not to go natural because if you want to go natural, you can, you definitely can. But the epidural helped me and I got some sleep and I was so happy. I was on and off sleep, you know, from when I got it. So I'm going to say it kicked in about like maybe nine, 10 o'clock. I'm going to say 10 o'clock. We just going to go like that. So from 10 to about like, I was waking up, I kept waking up, but from 10 to like four or like 3 30 i was sleeping like i got some sleep they were like yeah you need to get some sleep so then they came in and they checked me again and i was started but this is when i started feeling pressure i started feeling pressure down there and i'm like i felt like i had to go to the bathroom and i'm just like telling them like hey like i feel like i have to go to the bathroom and they're like oh that's the baby so then they checked and they said Oh, yeah, we'll be right back, and it's going to be time to push. Y'all, I was trying to stall so much. I did not want to push, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I was not ready for that. I was just like, well, can I lay here and sleep? Like, we could just keep giving me epidural, and I could just sleep. And they're like, no, we need to get this show on the road. So they basically, like, set me up. Um, It wasn't like how, you know, see on movies where you're set. Like, no, it was, like, casual. Like, you know, one, like, the nurse was in there. They well, they've told me like actually before I started pushing for them, whenever they said I felt pressure moving to like push. And I couldn't I couldn't feel myself push, but I was trying to push because I think I was like eight or nine centimeters and you had to be ten. So after that for like maybe like a couple minutes I was pushing, they checked again, it was time. But 
yeah, it was time. I think it was still more cervix there when I was pushing. But they was like, come on, it's time. This baby is coming. So, pushing. Um, It's not as painful as the contractions. I can say that. But my epidural started wearing off. And I'm not going to say it was really I'm happy my epidural world wore off then because I would not have been able to push and I probably would have been pushing for longer. So I think I started pushing maybe four something, four something. I don't know. I wasn't looking at the clock, but I started pushing at four something. They were letting me take like little breaks, but they were saying that wasn't good. Like, you know, cause the baby needs to come. So I was pushing. I got really exhausted. Like I got, it's really exhausting pushing. Like it hurts like it's just pain and then it's like i'm not gonna say tmi but they have to like yeah and they were like hurting me and i'm like the baby's not even hurting me it's y'all hurting me like you're you're hurting me so but um yeah so they were basically trying to stretch me so that the baby could come out and i was just like oh my god like this is not working but i mean i pushed i pushed through then at the last minute like it had to give me oxygen because my baby wasn't getting oxygen. Her heart rate was going down. I got really scared, but I was really tired. Like, I was closing my I was like, then the lady was like, well, look, we're going to have to vacuum her out. And I was like, vacuum her out? I think that's when my mother instincts came in. I'm just like, you know what? I need to be strong for my daughter because I do not want y'all vacuuming her out. And her head looking weird. Like, no. So I, I gathered myself. I held my, I put the oxygen down. I held my legs up. And I had one last huge push. And my baby was out. And I was so proud of myself, guys. Like, I was crying, like, when she came out. It came out so fast. My mom was like, oh, my God, wait, hold on. My mom wanted to record it, but it happened so fast. Like, and, um, yeah, she came out. And later on me, I looked at her. I started crying. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I really just had a baby. Like, one thing through the pain, like, it's painful, but it just turns out something beautiful at the end. And I would not take it back for nothing. Like, I would go through that pain for my daughter again because I love her so much. And it's definitely worth it. Like, but, um, but yeah, so then they laid her on me. You know, my baby, I was like, I was crying. I was happy. They let, so my mom came because, so, okay, so in the midst of everything, like, I lost my phone because I was in so much pain. I did not care about my phone. I couldn't even tell her dad what was going on. Until last minute, I could not tell him what was going on. My mom was already up there. I felt so bad, but he he was very understanding, you know. And I was on. I called him as soon as I can, like literally as soon as I can to show her him, show him. Yeah, I think I said that right. But yeah, so I'm just happy he was very understanding with that because I was kind of happy that my mom was able be able to be there because you know I am adopted so. I am her only child, and this is her first grandchild. And they let her cut the umbilical cord. My mom cried. Like, my mom loves my daughter so much. And I'm so happy I was able to let her experience that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm very happy that she was able to experience that. But, um, yeah. So then, um, after the fact, you know, um, they're cleaning the baby up, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, while they're cleaning the baby up, they're trying to fix me up. I did tear because I, they, I told y'all they were stretching, like they were hurting me and I had to get two stitches, but it was only two stitches. So, um, but I wasn't feeling no pain. I can say that. And after the fact, but I'm going to make another video about my basically postpartum, like after, you know, when I was in the hospital and how I feel and all of that, I'm going to make that a separate video. But yeah, that was my labor and delivery experience. Like the nurses were really good. And, you know, my baby was healthy. She was six pounds, nine ounces. I'm so happy. 20 inches long. Um, You know, I'm alive. I'm here making a video. I'm home. We got to go home. You know, my baby's good. And that's all that matters. And I am very blessed to say that I am a mom now. And I cannot wait for the rest of my life to be a mother. And, you know, and to, you know, 
I'm sorry. I keep saying, you know, because I'm just very happy. But yes, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it was informative for some of you moms that are pregnant now. Like, don't be scared. Don't take what I said, like the pain is blah, blah, blah. Us women, we are made to have kids. Like, we can do this. So don't be scared. You are going to be okay. I promise you. If I did it and I have a very low tolerance of pain, I can I cannot take pain. If I feel too much pain, I would throw up. So I'm telling you, you can do it. Women, we are extremely strong. And I promise you, having a baby is the most beautiful thing in the world. If you can, like, not saying, oh, go have a baby because, like, when you're young, like, don't. When you're ready, it's going to be the most beautiful thing you have ever felt. Like, I have never felt love like this. Like, I feel my daughter's love for me. But, yep, I'm going to stop talking because that's it. And I love you guys. And thank you for watching to the end of this video. And continue to watch my videos. Like, comment, and share for me. You know, comment some other videos. Comment some questions. If you have questions, you know, I put my social medias down in the description. DM me if you have any questions. And I can make a whole video about more questions. Like, for people that are pregnant, if you got questions. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Hey, pretty. Hello, gorgeous. Now she's right here. What's her name? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean now you don't know? You better name this baby. Um, I was thinking. Um, Leilani. Right? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Or my middle name, Destiny. Oh. And then seven, seven, eight. I'm going to set up the bed. I know. That was nice. Baby. Oh, no, no, of course not. It never is. You would worry if it was. Do I get the holder again? Yeah, sure. Oh, you just gotta make way. sure you. We probably need a little bit of a stitch. No. No. <laughs> this will hurt. Um, oh, this shouldn't. It's just small. Is it too Yeah. Yeah, hey, baby. mommy. You okay? Is she five? Small or large? Small. Six pounds, nine ounces. Yeah, baby. She did, but she turned her head the other way. Oh, she's trying. Hello, Miss Destiny. Hi, little Miss Destiny. Can you open your eyes for me? Can you open your eyes for me? Yeah. You trying? Look at and you giving me a smile. You're gonna give me a smile, <laughs> huh? Thank you guys so much. Thank you all. I'm even at the last minute. You're beautiful. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with them.